Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rasha, and we are playing Mordheim, City of the Damned. So today, I figured out that after the last mission, when we have like three rats uh, in the infirmary, or whatever the rats are calling it, <laughs> so I thought, why not give uh, a skill to someone there? I was uh, working on that in the last episode at the end there, but I thought, yeah, I want to do that because we, we have a downtown, a uh, national downtime here. So I will give the crippling shot to Ninyari here. He was already has the war poison that can remove two offensive points, the red pills. So this skill, a uh, range attack aimed at the hips that deals regular damage. If the target's current maximum offensive points are reduced by one, for one turn. So we can actually potentially hit with the help of War Poison two offensive points and if we stack this with this one we can remove three from one. And the reason for why this is a very cool skill too is as soon as Ninjari reaches level 5 he will be having seven offensive points or red pills. That means that we will be able to do one of the crippling shots and two of the normal damage shots. We do, we well, that's why we want this skill over here. And that is the one I'm talking about all the time. It costs four skill points. So hopefully we will get another sp uh, skill point when we level up there. And the ballistic skills will re uh, reach at 12 because that will mean that we will have a cost reduction of reload of two this this means that we will have even more mobility because we can reload without we can probably reload two times without even spending one blue pill so yeah i can stack everything in him because he is a very good debuffer and uh, he helps all the other guys to perform better so yeah he's a key uh, key rat for this game because yeah he makes everyone else better so yeah so let's see here we uh, will try to get a uh, mission here to try to get yes we will get a mission so now we have three and oh yeah we if i would go for the mission mission now you can see i have too many people out of action no in the infirmary is the correct term as we can see here one two three four five so if i rest today we we'll probably try to do a, uh, a mission without Ninjari here. Okay, so there was a lot of things happening here. We got all these people back. That is awesome. Uh, so yes, nothing to report. So I think it's free day for the shop. I really want a new refresh. It would be nice to get some more higher quality weapons like blue. I think it purple is the last. Okay, so. All the guys are back, but without Ninjari, I don't want to do a very hard mark to death. This is actually an easy mission. Yeah, let's just make a training mission out of this. We will play without Ninjari as he is training for his new skill. So it would be weird to not have war poison because that is kind of... Small groups of enemy warriors have been discovered across the area, scattered in fright. Before they can regroup, you break your warband into three patrols to intercept and engage your disorganized rivals. Yeah, so it's kind of weird to not have in the army because uh, my main strategy is always to use him for yeah, debuffing, especially with, uh, when we have uh, their leader or something. So let's find out what we are fighting. We have once again this cross here, uh, which is kind of... <laughs> This is so embarrassing. I know it was just a couple of episodes ago I, I had it and I already forgot it. I, whoa, look at that. This happens sometimes. Uh, this is a good frame for us because this means that all the warp stone is more or less uh, very close to us but not very close to our enemy because they will probably spawn around here. That will probably leave us a whole round of looting here. So let's first put you over here. I'm... Yeah. That's good for me. The leader. He has also great movement. So we could put all the warp guards here. I think I will do that. And then they go swing around. Or should I put all the warp guards over here? We have three warp guards, I think. 
if I put them over there. Which, which one is closest? Because I think I need to run around here. I'm not sure how that thing's... So yeah, I'm trying to decide how to place everyone. Oh yeah, let's cut it. I will figure it out and I will show you the results as soon as I have placed every rat out of here where I want them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've placed all my warp guards over here. Why not? Because we will start with this is our fast troops, so they will have a very short trip to all that warp stone. And I think I want to do that trip as soon as possible before the enemies against me. So yeah, my high initiative people went here, and one of my warp guards he's all the way over there, and this is my good one. That was a bad, bad place for me because yeah. He's over there, and the rest of them are over there, so I'm not sure what he can do. We can probably steal the idol from our enemies. That, that is a potential strategy we can take advantage of. Oh, oh, I'm liking this more than more. Look at this. Do you know what this means? We will have a height advantage naturally because we are approaching the warp stones over there, and they have to run around there or climb up. I'm loving this because this means all these warp stones are mine. So let's put you over here. We want you in a position where you can pick up as many as possible. I think you can only pick up three, but this was a very lucky spawn here. Even that it was not a lot of warp stones to get everyone in one cluster. I think it is a you can read it in the game files. I haven't, but I read on somewhere that this is kind of like a 5% chance that this happens. So yeah, every 20 missions uh, you, you get lucky and get this. So yeah, but this is very good news for us because we will be able to pick up every warp stone on this map. So let's see here, I can't have not enough movement to uh, change my weapon. Let's see if we found any enemies. They, we haven't spotted them yet. Maybe I will use my one of my warp guard as a uh, distraction. So they will uh, hunt him round. You remember that mission when I stand on the bridge just trolling them? Uh, so they couldn't reach me. And I wanted to leave that uh, young point free because, yeah. Okay, so what are we fighting? That's the question I'm thinking. The cross, cross, what, what could the cross be? Okay, so, Mr. Leader, we are here. It's time for you to loot some warp stones. Okay, so I think you have room for free too. So, if let's try to put you in a position situation where you can reach three of them. Yes, we can reach three of them here. We don't want to waste any extra movements. And oh, this is so good. I, I remember uh, when I played on them alone, <laughs> they actually spawned right on top of my rats in one mission. That was just so lucky. Oh, you have to waste the movement there, but... Okay, so let's pick up this one first, the big one. So yeah, this is very, very good news for me. I think in the lone warp guard we have, I will probably want to use him. Okay, so he's blocking. Let's try not to block things here. Uh, let's put you over here. He has actually movement enough. In this situation, I'm fine with as well. I've leveled him. I have leveled Beartail to be proficient with ranged weapons too. But has someone stole his range weapon or what is going on here? Let's see. Is up D pad up? Let's see. Oh that's skills. How can I see equipments? Okay now. That's really weird. I think uh, he has lost his warp pistols. He must maybe lost them and was knocked out or something because I, I was quite sure that he had a second. Yeah, and that is something we need to fix. Okay, so let's just put the Dosh stance here. Okay, it's their turn now. 
<laughs> we are where they are. This is so embarrassing. We have still spotted them. And I, I can't still figure... What could it be? Is this the witch hunters, the wolf pack? That sounds kind of like witch hunting. Okay, it's time for you, Mr. Black Skaven. I always call him... Everyone is named Farfear in this. It's a kind of... Yeah, because we actually... Skavens, some lore here. Skavens actually live in clans. That's how they rule things. Okay, so he can pick up four. That's really nice because, yeah, I will level his strength a little bit higher than the rest of him. So for once he can uh, get good use of it. Usually it just affects uh, him to get a, a couple of percentage more damage. But in this case, it could be very good to have very big inventory slots here. So mark to death in the optional objectives means that I have to take out some bear guys. And the same for them, I think. So, but I'm not sure if the AI is actually gunning for the guys to try to make the optional objective happen. I don't believe so. Okay, so... I think I want to put you here in case we get beeline. I don't think they will be able to reach us very soon. Uh, let's just put you on Amidal stage. Okay, it's time for you. Uh, I leveled your strength quite recently, so I think you have actually is actually has access to free inventory slots. Let's find out. Yes, uh, level. So that's really good. Almost got all the warp stones here already. That's really good. So, that's a lot of warp stones. And then, uh, yeah, that was kind of lucky that we got everything here. It's kind of... Okay, so if I loot with him, he will not be able to... Uh, let's... Yeah, we have time. I want him to be in Overwatch there. We have still not seen any anime enemies. And then we have the Lone Warp God here. Yeah. I think I will go steal it, the idol with him. Okay, so you guys started over here. So we want you to join up with other guys there. So if I first go down here, or let's check this. Is this not south? I'm just look, looking for a place where we would be able to just skip the jumping down because the warp guards, they are not very proficient. Yeah, they, they have a good chance, but... It's not a, a great chance, so let's see. So I need to go this way. Oh, I, I, I was so concentrated on the... I was so concentrated on the direction I was traveling, so I didn't look at the floor. And usually, uh, yeah, the, the traps are just mostly an annoyance. It's not really, uh, they are not really dangerous. So, yeah, it's not a big deal, but in most of the things, uh, you lose one movement when you go into a trap. So, he probably would be able to come a bit closer to his friends. But our enemies will probably approach from the west here. That is my prediction. So, yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, so. We haven't seen them yet. This is a really weird situation where <laughs> we get all the warp stones uh, almost in the first turn here. Okay, so can we... Let's see, if I go in that direction... No, I, I need to jump down there first. So let's go for it. So yeah, we are playing on normal difficulty. Let's... Now I'm going south. I'm trying it a new. Yes, I'm trying it. Yeah, this way it works too. I'm thinking of yeah. I'm thinking actually to using um, our lone warp guard as stealing an idol like I said ten times. I think that is actually the probably the wisest move here because that will make us to win. We actually picked up all the warp stones so early in the game or early in this map. So there is no really reason, reason to draw this out. Usually, sometimes you want to draw it out because... Oh man. <laughs> Trap traps. 
Now they are kind of lagging behind and I have a very defensive position. I could just start sneaking him up. I think I want to do that. If I see the enemies, I will start running to safety. This is my good warp guard. Let's see. He will be scout here a bit. That's really weird. We have still not bumped into any, any, any enemies at all. So, this is kind of weird. Okay, that is very suboptimal moves. Let's try to avoid all the traps. We must be extra careful because he is alone. We want to optimize all the movement. And I think I want to stay here because I will be less visible because he, he will be a real skaven here and be a little bit sneaky. So we haven't spotted any enemies yet. So I will try to reach the wagon over here and I will sneak here so they don't see me. So let's just put you in ambush dance here. If he will become attacked, this will be a good thing because that will split up us our enemies. I would probably just disengage and run, disengage and run. Because yeah, he has good defense, so we can um, a new round kite, has started. Kite, kite him around. So I can't yes I can. I think he's a fool though, isn't he? If I press up there, yes he's full. Oh, there is uh, one of the enemies, so let's switch weapons. I think we want to go range with you, because we have a height of varnish here. The problem is that I think actually they have better range with their guns over there than I have. So we are playing, we are fighting human mercenaries, so that is the cross, the old cross thing. Yeah, so they would probably try to, the range units would probably try to get good of no, he doesn't have any extra weapons, but I like our position here. So let's just delay. Yeah, because we are in a strong position here, up there. They have to reach up, uh, go up to us to climb for us, and so on to reach us. So, but we are human mercenaries who would probably go up and snipe us. Okay, so we have one of their henchmen there. Was not close enough for him to attack. I could run around here. Uh, so, do we want to go down and fight him? We have two ranged units. We have two heavy hitters here with my Black Skaven here. No, I think I want to delay and see what happens because I want. I, I like this position very much. Yeah, the, our warp guards will not be too much uh, help here though. So maybe we should send them down. I think we will do that, and then we will just keep our range units here and let them go for us. Oh, I should probably check if he has room in his backpack for some more warp stones. Yeah, so I'm turtling here. Let's put another view onto you. Let's see here. Okay, so yeah. I have spotted more. Yes, everyone is coming this way. Maybe we have a chance to reach that wagon before they reach us. Okay, so you can do really much here. Uh, this is this is a hard decision. I think I want them to come for us. Yes, let's. If I delay now, it, it will be just placed after our warp guard. So why not? We can't do any. I don't want to do anything else here. Okay, so we have a good shot here. Okay, I can see two of them. We pissed. Everyone has pistols. At least we can get some damage in here. The war pistol is fairly good, uh, decent damage. So we can reload again. I think I want to go with that. And then we, we can wither him. The buff in bit. I think the most important debuff here is that it will uh, work like. That is not probably good. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's put you in dot stance here. Uh, you can't remember all the debuff here. Uh, it, it, for me, I'm kind of a, a simple uh, binary guy, so always when I'm fighting, if I can't affect it, I just don't care about it and try to move around it. I don't, I'm not spending a lot of time thinking about Okay, so if I delay you, you will be after the unidentified guy there. 
It's really good when we they are wasting movement, so there is no really way for our warp downs to come down here. We don't have any enemies there. I don't see a way down there. Mm. So what to do with you? I think we'll start sending him in this way. First, let's first pick up the warp stones. It's very nice that our Ashian sorcerer is lighting up the area here. We are not afraid of the dark. But he's kind of... And I hear he has some kind of blind blinders on. Okay, cool. So let's send you down here. Oh, this is a very, very, very good locking area. So they can't reach him. So if on the lane with you, I will be after their ranged unit. I think we need to go hunt for them because, yeah, we are fighting. If it wasn't you, sisters, uh, they will come for us. But the human mercenaries, they were usually trying to go up to the buildings to gain height advantage and shoot at us. So I think we need to go after them. And their ranged units is actually quite weak. Uh, so, yeah, now we are blocked off my own <laughs> thing here. I think. Yeah, that was not probably the wisest move I could do if he gets engaged. We are also trapped in here, so we, but we are still have that jump point. So if I delay... Yeah, let, let's just delay you. We are turtling royally here. Okay, so we are just... One of the ranged units are probably... It starts running up in that building, that is my guess. They will run up into that building and start shooting at us. I think we need to be more aggressive. Yes, he went right into a trap. Yes, he going for that building so he can shoot at us. So... It's you again. So if that delay... Yeah, I'm delaying you again. Okay. So where are you, my friend? Uh, you are over here. We have blocked ourselves in. That was not probably a very wise decision. This felt like a very good idea for the time. But now it means that uh, the ranch will only will not be able to get any reinforcements. To go all the way around would be take a lot of time. So I think I will put you over here in ambush. And wait until I will move that guy. We don't want to black block ourselves in. That will cramp our style. Okay, so we have one more hero. Yeah, we are just delaying with this guy, so we can act more... Oh man, yeah, look at that range damage. It's quite decent. Okay. So what can we do here? Our warp guns are too far away to be of any use. So I think I actually want, just was going to go dodge here. So then we will jump down and start fighting them. Yeah, because if I jump down my leader now, he will be completely alone there. With... Oh yeah, you are our sneaky, sneaky, sneaky rat. Come on, sneak over there. So we need to... Can't cut it. I want to get down. Okay, this was a lot trickier than I thought it was gonna be. I don't... Let's go back. And go down. <laughs> okay, yeah, he has a heavy armor. So yeah, he has a hard time. He wants... To... Okay, I see a hero all the way over there. But that is fairly close, so if someone tries to climb up and fight him, he will ambush in there. So that is good, but it will mean that we are trapped there too, so... Yeah, let's just wait with you. I think we need to engage them. That's the only solution. So you need to go left. I'm getting ready with you. 
I don't want to ambush with you because then you will block the beyond point so we can get down. Will he go for my lone rat here? That's the question. Yeah, he's still there. Somewhere. Doesn't seem like he's going for our lonely rat. They have one guy A with you. round has started. Okay, so it's their turn first. They have kind of good ambush line here, so I have to be... Oh, he's coming around there. That is... Will I be able to... I think that is out of our range, but... I think I can get him. Get to him. Let's go move. Oh, there we got it. He's completely alone here, so I will go for him because that. I think that is a good decision. Hopefully, our room. Enough. Yeah, I can really get that. This is a magic user. His damage is not that impressive. We can dodge in. Yeah, he can handle that guy on his own. That would block that area off. It's time for him. He has already taken fairly amount. Now he's blocking our young point. Did he get? No, I didn't manage to climb it. Oh no, yes. Oh. Okay, I'm fine with that. We are controlling this area here. Okay, he's still... Let's switch the weapon. I don't like this situation because we are... If we are going to fight him a little bit more back backwards here, because the range units will be able to shoot at us here. Hopefully you're not... What do you call it? Railing is protecting us a bit. So... I think we can handle him. Okay, yes, we can handle him. And I think these guys can handle him, so if I am able to reinforce BRTL... We will be able to take this guy out directly. It will be a good boon for us. If we can get him. Nicely, we got him. So let's end the turn, that's one of their heroes less, so and it was just a henchman that was engaging there. I think my other henchman... Okay, the leader is probably around here at the wagon, it seems like, because we got the view over here. Okay, so let's switch over. Can I disengage? No, I can't. So let's switch weapons. It's not very proficient with those weapons, but in this case, is one way I have to play with. Got to some weirder on him. I should probably take it that on the other guy instead, yeah, because I would, they would probably shoot me in the head now. Okay. So let's try to get this warp guard around. Oh no. We want to engage. Okay, so there. That's so I want this. Because that will make his range units less likely to hit us. But the problem is, I think this is their leader in the background there. And he will probably be able to do quite a lot of damage there. It looks like he has two handing, so it will not be as a two handed weapon, but it will be quite a lot of damage. But I think our warp guards can get there. If I can get uh, some of the guys there. Okay, so there is one of our range units. Ouch. Oh man, they, they do very high damage with those pistols. Okay. So let's see here. I don't know who that is. So who are you? And where are you? So you are over here. Oh yeah, yes, you are over here. So let's see. If... Yeah, let's... The range units are not very high HP. 
Don't want those guys shooting at us. At least they are engaged properly engaged here with our guys. So let's go with a parry. It's almost the same. Yeah, he's disengaging. Okay. So who are you? You are a good warp guard with two health. So let's you don't have Hello so jump down with you. Right on top of him. So he's stuck. I don't think he can disengage from here. Okay, cool. Paris stance. The shields is actually a little bit used when you are fighting ranged. The only thing is that I've blocked my Yon Yon point here uh, with that guy. Uh, so let's see. Hopefully we will make it. Yes. So let's go steal that idol if we have movement enough. Let's see. Okay, he was waiting for me there. He missed with his overwatch. We can get it in the next turn. Let's put him over here. I don't want to put in an overwatch because I don't want him to move. Oh man, that is some kind of debuff. Ah, you got some debuff too. Okay. So who are you? And where are you going? Okay, you're coming over here. <laughs> He's coming for my dodge tank. I'll, uh, good luck hitting him. This is a highly confusing uh, engagement. <laughs> it's so much up and down. Oh yeah, they are. They are. A new round has started. Okay, so I have the shoes of hitting two guys. I think I want to go for this guy first, or should I go for the hero? I have the higher chance of hitting him, so let's go for the damage. Okay, cool. He can uh, dodge, I think he has a good chance. I want to dodge skill so he can do dodge twice in this kind of situation, it should uh, be helpful. Okay, so you have fairly low chance of hitting. But yeah, it's some damage. So let's see if we can get wither. It seems let's get that on the more dangerous units. In the next turn, our leader and our black scaven can deal with that hero there. And his dodge is awful. Okay, so all the guys is over here. So let's try to charge him for the extra damage. I got the stun. That is very promising for us because it's highly, as the usual, you get a higher chance of hitting. If they are stunned, also you get a higher chance of doing critical hits. I think it's about uh, it's 10 or something. He, he managed to do his all alone check. He went for our scout. Not the I'm fine with that, he can take it, and uh, the hero will not be able to... He's debuffed, but I'm not sure how it will affect him. So, let's get closer. Fifth, yeah, critical hit. Always doing some uh, snow damage on me. So that, that, those guys can handle that one, that was a... Nice match here. Let's put you and dodge dance here. Okay, their leader is coming here. Engaging our warp guard. This is not good. We will probably go out of action here. Yes, he couldn't take the punishment. No, what are you doing? You're stealing my warp stone. But we, we have one great advantage, we have almost reached their idol, so that means their morale will plummet, so yeah. Uh, that, that will help us immensely in this match, we can probably win it. Okay, it's disengaging. 
running away, trying to shoot us, climbing. He did succeed with his climbing there. Okay, you can't do much more than hit this. Okay, has two maces. Uh, but parry, yeah, let's go for it. It's disengaging. Okay, that was an interesting choice. It's disengaged too. Okay, so let's get that idle. Let's see how. Um, Liberator's Boon, I am forgotten what that is, but there we just need to kill one more to win this match. Okay, so let's Okay. So we have a range unit over here. You can keep range unit busy, I think. Oh it's up there. Will I be able to climb up there? And I made it. I thought it was an enemy there. Or yes, it was. <laughs> it was just disappearing. Okay. Oh man, that weapon is doing a lot of uh, damage. We have to be careful. Because that, but yeah, he has shield and armor here. Yeah, he can handle him. I think he can take take all the punishment from him without. Okay. So who are you? Um, so what do I want to do now with you? I could engage that guy, but then it would lock the jump points, so I can't jump on, down with other rats. So let's try to engage him from this side. Also force him to do a all alone check, that helps a bit. Well, it's a fairly dodgy character he had. Okay, it's disengaging. Probably run away, will take a shot at us. Yeah, he went out. A new round has started. Okay, you are still in engaged with him. Potentially killing him here. That would mean a win for us. If we hit, of course. Okay, let's dodge. Okay, you can still win this. If we hit this. Okay. The problem is, I think his back blood pack is full. No, it isn't. Who? Uh, I'm, I'm just checking here for the option on the exits. No, Ulrich, Wolf, and Alrich. Oh, it's not, not to you. I can't use his pistol, so can I reach that warp stone? I can. Okay, cool. So let's see if we can get some wither in. Let's put it on the leader. And, uh, uh, what more can I do? Not a lot more. I could use this movement and start moving him down. And it takes two red pills to switch weapons. I was put in over here so no one can shoot at him. Okay, so let's get you down. Oh no, now I'm blocked. Did I land in one of his circles? I didn't. Let's go for the leader. Stun him. It feels like we have been very lucky with all those extra... Yeah, the weak person will heal kill him. Most likely. If it comes to it, I think we will win them on morale this time. We still have you. So where did he kill my guy? He's over there. Let's see. Let's 
Let's just check your bags. You're full. Okay, cool. Let's go down. If I engage him from here, he will not be able to disengage us. So I think I will do just that. Probably we'll be able to kill him too. That's really nice. I don't have any more room for my... So let's put him under here so he will not be able to, they will not be able to shoot at him. They fail they failed their loot check. When our rats went out of action, but I figured we uh, hold a lot of yeah, our black skaven was our most valuable warrior. I think we got a lot of warp stones here, so that's really nice. We always get some warp stone for yes. just doing in the mission. Yes! Brilliant clever filch leads Warband to victory! Kill crush all enemy! <laughs> Steel snatch much word stone. Murdered it alone. Would it be a happy place? So yep. Surviving the mission? Okay, let's let's find out. What wasn't a lot of XP this mission? Not like the uh, episode before it. But experience, yeah. Full recovery. That was really lucky. They stole her his stuff. But yeah, it's not a bad, bad thing. We have an extra halberd. But they stole our warp stones here. But full recovery, I take that. One eyed claw, we get, got a physical advancement. Squealer, my favorite name. And yes, you got. Yeah, you could put three enemies out of action. You're starting to get a. You are a main damage dealer. Slightly wounded. So, so that's. Okay, so that's... Wow, that really went fairly good. For example, for all those warp stones we pick up, that was a really, really good thing here. Let's see, 156 waiting warp stones. Let's find out, 205. We're still not being uh, have a shipment request. Uh, so let's pay those six, six gold for the treatment. Sweet, that was not a lot, 43. Cool. So let's see. Let's level our rats. First start with our leader. Didn't get anything. You didn't get any advancement. He got something here. So I'm splitting. Every, yeah, so I'm splitting because, yeah, his damage output is more like a <laughs> additional damage. I'm not counting on his damage here. But actually, damage is not so important to him because he will always do low damage. So if we can get, I got a new idea how to level him. We'll give him a lot of accuracy so he will be able to crit. Because if we can stun people, that will be actually more useful than uh, the slow damage output he has. So, okay, so you are advancing nicely here. Let's give you a hardboard again, because we lost that. Because those human mercenaries stole our stuff. Bosters. So let's go back. Okay, let's see. You are in training. So let's see if we have any more advancements. Yes. Your agility is. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, let's put it in strength. Sons of Hitting is fairly good for now, so let's give you another so at 12%. I probably want to give him a skill that he will be able to crit even more, and that will be very useful. Especially now we are starting to get good here. Holistic skills, yeah. He was fighting uh, physically with his staff, and he really sucks at it. <laughs> so, but yeah, but it's, it worked this episode at least. Okay, let's see if I've forgotten someone. Nope, that was a lot of clicking. Let's go back to camp. Let's go to the next day. It means Nin Yaru will probably be done training, I think. Yes, has learned the skill, crippling shot. 
we also receive treatment for light wound with our engine sorcerer shadow knife. Uh, okay, so that was everything for this episode, and as always, thank you for watching.